Hi, it's your old buddy Brad here. Today I am going to be talking about using the Material tab in uh, JWildfire 3.0. So basically what a material is, is let's say you have an object. Here is my trusty old basketball. But I wanted to change how it looked. So if I take something and put it over it, and if I can make it totally flat against the surface, I would still have the same shape, but I am just changing the type of surface it is um, that has been applied to it. Now, the way J Wildfire does it is basically using what is called a reflection map in this case, which is the image like this. I'm backwards here, sorry. This is this is actually being forced as like an image to wrap around the ball. So I'm going to shoot myself down here. Whee! And if we go to the 3D rendering tab, material settings, the first we have selected materials. You can have as many different materials as you want. All of the settings are the same when you add or delete a material. The ambient, uh, well, first the fuse. It is kind of the amount of light that is forced on it. The ambient is also a way it interacts with the object. I, I personally don't use the fuse much. I use it as set the default. And on ambient, I normally set it to 1. That's just my... um personal preference. Specular is ha, controls how bright or shiny the object becomes. And that the spec size adjusts the shininess amount. And there's also some also ways to change the diffuse amount or um, their kind of like filters and you can also change the colors of them if you want you see here the diffuse is a little red so if I look you can see here the red part that's the diffuse light Now I'm going to reset all of this. Oh, and uh, re reflection mapping, you can do it from a, a color or an image. And then there's also two types of mapping that you can do with it. And this reflection intensity controls how uh, uh, the intensity of the map. So I'm going to reset everything here. And I'm using just a plain white gradient, but when using reflection maps, it's best to use a almost black gradient. So I'm going to change to this one. Going back to the 3D rendering tab. I'm going to select an image. I'm going to use uh, this image here of little rock pebbles. Now you see, let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm also going to move it up some here. Do a quick render. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<coughs> excuse me. So you see it has taken this image here and it has wrapped it around the object. Now, uh, one thing that I found is if you, when using reflection maps, it works to have rounded objects. For example, if I change to a cube, basically it's just wrapping one color on each side of the cube. So you really don't get the um, desired effect. Of course you can uh, add post transforms to make it smoother, round out edges, then the reflection map would show up. I'm going to set this back to zero. And the reason this looks a little bit different is, uh, again, I, you can set the sub div level. Because right now, um, there's too many polygons on the object. So if you smooth that out, Do another quick render. And then there is our reflection mapping uh, on the material. And then, of course, we can always uh, uh, make sure I'm on the right tab here. You can also change the ambient. And diffuse amount to suit your taste. So for now, that is how you use the material tab in JYFlyer. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.